This court has reached the following conclusion. One, it rules that the confessions made, the confession made by accused number one was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number one was in his firm, sound, and sober senses. Two, the confession made by accused number two in respect of the said confession being taken by Mrs. Ronje, the magistrate, the court rules that it was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number two was in his full and sober senses. And also the confession made before Colonel Rapudi was also made by accused number one, two. Freely and voluntarily without any coercion when he was in his sound and sober senses. And also the pointing out made by accused number two before Colonel Khadebe were also made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number two was in his full and sober senses. Okay. Okay. In today's video, right, I want us to focus on uh, the things around a uh, Sanzo Mayewa case, especially the things that happened today. Uh, a lot of people were dejected about a lot of things that happened today. Uh, the court choosing not to admit uh, the statement saying that uh, the statement are, are look, I mean, in fact, the court choosing uh, to say the statement are admittable. Yeah, bon. So meaning to say, like I said, that it appears like uh, it means the court is saying and Danzi and these people indeed are the right people who took the like the life of Sons of Mayor. But in today's episode, uh, there's a lot that I need us to talk about, such as the following, right? Somebody says, evening guys. Mina, I think Mr. A Exigency Rata admitted the look admitted this confessions so that it can be read into the into record so that everybody can hear what Geninda and his lo lap dog uh, forced Ndanzi to write. He knows the five accused did not kill Osenza Mayewa because the DNA evidence exonerated them, including the head found in the house. What is left now is for the ballistic expert uh, of the defense to rebut the evidence given by the ballistic, ev local ballistic evidence of the state or expect of the state. Right, I'm going to read more of this. Even if a confession is made, it is still need to be tested in the, in the main trial. And all of the loopholes will prove that the confessions are not true. Just because it is a confession, it doesn't mean it is true. At the end of it all, the accused will be found innocent because the material evidence is not make sure. Well, I must say, this is an intellectual property of somebody that decided to write and say, guys, do not, um, <laughs> look, it was like, ah, guys, I could but I'm about to read more of this, uh, provided obviously with your permission, obviously. So I am basically, maybe I, maybe I should say I'm now comforting you guys. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds like indeed I am comforting you guys to say nah guys don't lose hope we still have a long journey to travel in this case right there's still more evidence that is still going to come up and don't forget the likes of our makubu that are still coming up who are working for the state and they will rebut this we are still waiting for the likes of abo leshaban also guys they will come and rebut sorry guys for that uh, they will come and rebut this i don't know what's this they will come and rebut a lot of these things so yeah don't, don't lose hope don't lose hope don't lose faith right and there's other thing that i don't want you to lose faith on and that is i put it to you that you do the following
if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel speaking about financial contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this youtube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay um let's continue let's continue let's continue let's uh, take it up from there right somebody then decided after people were dejected and you know what i'm saying a lot of people felt like ah it's over shame now it's over then somebody says the fact that Judge Rata admitted the confession is not a train smash. Oh, when I read it, I was like, oh, what are you saying? Because I honestly I was disappointed. If you have seen the video that I made, I was like, hmm. yeah, man, I didn't have that energy. I was disappointed because in my heart, I was praying that, you know what? This judge should accept this and declare them uh, that they are inadmissible. Uh, you know, I said, I said, accept. That's a wrong word. I meant you shouldn't accept this and declare them that they are not admissible. But he did contrary. This person says, what? We deemed it as, yo, shock of our lives. This person says, no, relax, guys. This is not a strange smash. I get Right there, I was like, let me listen to what this person is saying. And then this person say, the pending issue is that we are now faced with contradicting evidence from the state witnesses of which Gininda refuted everyone else's evidence by testifying that it was not robbery gone wrong, but a plan hit and Kelly Kumalo is the mastermind. All right, Ale, check Lee. Yeah, I, I, you know, Pella, according to the statement, it says that Kelly Komalo is the mastermind, right? So this person then is now quoting from that and saying, no, do not be, uh, this local, do, do local. guys, please come back, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, I think that one thing that I need to interrogate in what he's saying is that they have contradicted each other in the in the in the in the trial right so i think one day i will then revisit how they contradicted one another but for now let me continue now in the main trial all of this evidence must be tested and at the end of the day the court will have to consider the admissibility of the uh, of the confessions based on the evidence submitted in the main trial now you will remember uh, advocate baloi uh, when when uh, advocate baloi ne, at the oh, look when everything was wrapped up he then said advocate baloi said uh, the the witnesses that testified or uh, look on the trial within a trial they will be called starting from friday they will be called now it means that things that were said in the trial within a trial will have to be said in the trial now and uh, so they will have to give more details about the things they said in the trial within a trial the same witnesses that were, were, were testifying in the trial within a trial will testify in the main trial so i get where he's saying that um the, the, this issue of confessions will still be uh look will still be will still will, will look will still be tested again but let's continue Genenda will be called again to testify on his statement and determination must be made whether his evidence is admissible or not Makubo must come also still testify in terms of the evidence in Docker 375, which implicates Longwe as the as the one who shot Senzo, not Kelly. So the ruling does not mean it's over because it's not over until it's over. Now I think I need to read the last ones. So the ruling does not mean 
does not mean that it's over because it's not over until it's over. Oh, my God. That motivational speaker. <laughs> the guy was writing this. I must give him credit for, for motivational speaking because, wow. <laughs> Nevertheless, people were writing, you know, just like I said today, guys, I'm using someone's intellectual property. It's not my thinking, you know what I'm saying? I must admit, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not my intelligence that came up with all of this. People were busy saying things, you know, writing things. So I thought, you know, because you know me, you know me, sharing is caring. So I was like, ah, oh, guys, I'm busy eating these gems alone. This, this, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this, this, this meal alone. I was like, nah, man, I've got tribes there. They need to come and share and eat what I'm eating. Somebody continued to write, and, uh, write the following and say, what I find it strange, what I find strange was that Rata's ruling was exactly the opposite of the last case law that he read about a confession that was taken by a magistrate and later overturned on an appeal. Strange. That's what you say. I remember now um, uh, the magistrate, the story of the magistrate. I do remember it, but there's something I remember is that I need to continue. <laughs> right? Somebody wrote and follow the following and say, I don't think Rata considered the defense case, or even when they got uh, when they got cross examination, he had already made up his mind so to admit the confessions. How could he ignore the lies of Mokwane? The contradiction, look, the contradiction of Mohola and Butelezi. The fact that the state didn't produce a mandate signed by Intanz showing that Mjiako was his lawyer. How could he ignore all of that? How could he? He did it anyway. Uh, it's in the past. He did it. <laughs> Why? Because Judge Rata, being Judge Rata, decided to do it. So <laughs> we do the tea, Lurat. <laughs> That's not the other words. But let's continue. Uh, yeah, but you guys think of the guys the So yeah, I didn't go there. I think I got cool. The back feel got thing. Right. Uh, but nevertheless, oh, oh, before I continue, I think Jay, do you mean a whole human being will watch my video up until this time? Yet that person hasn't subscribed. Ha! 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 Hi, Bo. I put it to you that you can't watch my videos until the time. Yet you are not subscribed. Yo. Hi, Bo. So, the, the last person to write, Ute. Judge Rata likes gossip. He just wants to know what is a confession statement. Otherwise, the state has no solid evidence going forward. That is why he kept on saying, this is a ruling which might change at the end of the main trial based on the other evidence that will be will be led. This ruling uh, should now make the defense pull up their socks too. They are they look they, now they should bring out their best. Uh, I fully concur. Well, what's your take? I, mean, I think they should now in the defense now mind you they need to wake up right. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise that uh, well, accused number one is now represented by a, 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 look, a, different, a different lawyer altogether. So each lawyer now is focused on his client. I think somehow it was a blessing in disguise because, I mean, come on, come on, come on, come to think of it. It will work wonders as we go, for, as we go forward. Um, there's one thing for sure that I know is going to work wonders. If you just, you guys, you see when you see that button, the subscribe, just smash it smash it right and then don't forget you know you see when you are when, when when you see your phone and you see the banking details in my phone you know just said smash it like that you know what i'm saying <laughs> exactly so that's a fair oh come on guys but again yeah uh those are the things that guys they do work when it comes to um the support that is needed for us to grow even further in this youtube channel because we desperately need to grow and i'm definitely sure you want this channel to reach greater height we really need to i i want to start a, a new series these days right uh, i want to visit people who have been failed by the system uh, i'm not talking about ex-convict uh, i think there are enough people that are dealing with the ex-convict but i, I want to focus on people that have been failed by the not that i'm gonna i'm not gonna do them but uh, right now guys uh, i want to do 
do uh, stories such as uh, in Kabi, I want to do stories such as um uh because I think if if I can interview in Kabi and understand how they work it will give us a perspective as well as as far as the Mayua case is concerned it will give us a, a very clear perspective as far as that case is concerned to 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 see whether or not these people that we have there really the story given by the kumalos uh it, does it really make sense the story that the the, the lead investigator is portraying because remember at some point advocate gomezulu said that here we are told um the local this was a hit but we are arguing as if it was a robbery gone wrong those are two contradicting things right so i think if we can hear from ingabi and he must tell us how it works because things such as remember when i said to you guys uh how is it that Ndanzi was involved in these things of um what did i say hey hey guys now i'm getting all pale I, I said how is it that Ndanzi was involved in these things because he was working so if ingabi is about to do his work he needs to go and to do some processes some cleansing some what what uh, no cleansing not cleansing cleansing is done be after so before taking somebody's life and they need to do that as well and sometimes they need to camp studying that individual for over three months before they can take his life after taking that person's life they need to go back to the sangomas to cleanse them and all the stuff so look if you're talking about Danzi, we should be seeing a lot of unpaid leaves and paid leaves and paid leaves but unfortunately we're not seeing them so how is it where do we get where do we balance this to say this are uh, this indeed are the hitmen because honestly speaking it doesn't make sense to me right for specifically for Danzi who was working it really doesn't make sense to me right so we need to i i think i need to get somebody who understand this right obviously gapela vela will have to do it in a manner that it, uh, don't uh, don't expose the person's identity like they do you'll find that they are only showing his legs or how, look you know somewhere around that and then they change his voice as well that is something that if you know one that is willing to be interviewed um i've been promised one already uh, so yeah maybe if i can get three of them i uh, will talk to them and just hear the process i'm, I'm interested in the process uh, what it takes for Ingabi to take somebody's life the, the preparations that goes into that right and then I, 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 look uh, once they are once they've completed their job the process that follows that as well i want because right now if i can if i if i can say or if i explain it it will not make sense as much as it would if it was explained by a person involved in it in it right so that is exactly what i'm about to do so hey uh, hey him lo i want to interview ingabi <laughs> that ingabi he is sent by the other team and then i'm thinking guys then i then him lo ne kind of cool i'm going to interview ingabi ingabi village yeah why let home super sign <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. So, so, hey, that was really scary, guys. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to say that, hey, guys, it's a very scary machine. You know, it's a very scary machine. Inga will be like, yeah, what's later? What's up? I'm like, that's swagging lock. That's swagging lock. That's swagging lock. And then, kind of, you know, top of the table of a party. I'm sure if one of them is watching me, he's like, hey, what about that? What's in that? to have an interview with one of them like honestly speaking because i just want to understand the mayua case in a deeper perspective as to if indeed these were uh is in Gabi, then their behavior is so strange. Remember that they got into that door, they got into that house, they got overpowered by an individual. From what I know, Ingabi gets out of the car, deals with you. Hey, those people don't even take, I remember them take, look, taking one's life in the rank, as long as it was a rank. Those people didn't even take the gun of that individual. They left everything there. They went, they went home. So wow, this Ingabi is that gets into the house and they uh, they want a cell phone. They want cell phones and money. Is, hey, Ingabi will take your life, broad daylight, and leave you there. Don't it doesn't even take take your cell phone because his job is to take your life. He gets paid. There's already a deposit for that. And then when he's done with taking when he's done taking your life, 
he's going home he look when he gets home he will meet with these people they will pay the balance and then it's done job done those guys have good houses they live in fancy areas they drive fancy cars because their life get taken care of what about this in Gabi that steals cars and all the they still sell phones and all the stuff get overpowered by the people in the house that's why I really want to talk to Ingabi just to understand how they work because this I don't believe this is was is Ingabi. Hi, Con.